The Book of Nahum is the seventh book of the twelve minor prophets of the Hebrew Bible. It is attributed to the prophet Nahum, and was probably written in Jerusalem in the 7th century BC. Background According to some, Nahum prophesied in the beginning of the reign of Ahaz. Others, however, think that his prophecies are to be referred to the latter half of the reign of Hezekiah. The book would then have been written in Jerusalem, where he witnessed the invasion of Sennacherib and the destruction of his host. The scholarly consensus is that the Book of Vision was written at the time of the fall of Nineveh at the hands of the Medes and Babylonians. This theory is demonstrated by the fact that the oracles must be dated after the Assyrian destruction of Thebes, Egypt in 663 BC as this event is mentioned in Nahum chapter 3 verse 8. Author little is known about Nahum's personal history. His name means comforter, and he was from the town of Alkosh, which scholars have attempted to identify with several cities including the modern backquote al Kush of Assyria and Kafamam of northern Galilee. He was a very nationalistic Hebrew, and lived amongst the al Koshites in peace. His writings were likely written in about 615 BC, before the downfall of Assyria. Historical context The subject of Nahum's prophecy is the approaching complete and final destruction of Nineveh, the capital of the great and at that time flourishing Assyrian Empire. Ashurbanipal was at the height of his glory. Nineveh was a city of vast extent, and was then the center of the civilization and commerce of the world. According to Nahum a bloody city all full of lies and robbery, a reference to the Neo-Assyrian Empire's military campaigns and demand of tribute and plunder from conquered cities. Jonah had already uttered his message of warning, and Nahum was followed by Zephaniah, who also predicted the destruction of the city. Nineveh was destroyed apparently by fire around 625 BC, and the Assyrian Empire came to an end, an event which changed the face of Asia. Archaeological digs have uncovered the splendor of Nineveh in its zenith under Sennacherib, Esarhaddon, and Ashurbanipal. Massive walls were 8 miles in circumference. It had a water aqueduct, palaces and a library with 20,000 clay tablets including accounts of a creation in a new Morelish and a flood in the Epic of Gilgamesh. The Babylonian chronicle of the fall of Nineveh tells the story of the end of Nineveh. Naboplasar of Babylon joined forces with Syaxes, king of the Medes, and laid siege for three months. Assyria lasted a few more years after the loss of its fortress. But attempts by Egyptian pharaoh Necho II to rally the Assyrians failed due to opposition from King Josiah of Judah, and it seemed to be all over by 609 BC. Overview The Book of Nahum consists of two parts. Chapter 1 shows the majesty and might of God the Lord in goodness and severity. Chapters 2 and 3 describe the fall of Nineveh, which later took place in 612 BC. Nineveh is compared to Thebes, the Egyptian city that Assyria itself had destroyed in 663 BC. Nahum describes the siege and frenzied activity of Nineveh's troops as they try in vain to halt the invaders. Poetically, he becomes a participant in the battle, and with subtle irony, barks battle commands to the defenders. Nahum uses numerous similes and metaphors. Nineveh is ironically compared with a lion. In reference to the lion as an Assyrian symbol of power, Nineveh is the lion of strength that has a den full of dead prey but will become weak like the lion hiding in its den. It comes to conclusion with a taunt song and funeral dirge of the impending destruction of Nineveh and the sleep or death of the Assyrian people, and demise of the once great Assyrian conqueror rulers. Themes The fall of Nineveh Nahum's prophecy carries a particular warning to the Ninevites of coming events. Although he is partly in favor of the destruction, one might even say that the Book of Nahum is a celebration of the fall of Assyria, and this is not just a warning or speaking positively of the destruction of Nineveh. It is also a positive encouragement and message of comfort for Israel, Judah, and others who had experienced the endless cruelty of the Assyrians. The prophet Jonah shows us where God shows concern for the people of Nineveh, while Nahum's writing testifies to his belief in the righteousness 
Christ's justice of God and how God dealt with those Assyrians in punishment according to their cruelty. The Assyrians had been used as God's rod of anger, and the staff in their hand as indignation, the nature of God from its opening. Nahum shows God to be slow to anger but that he will by no means ignore the guilty, but will bring his vengeance and wrath to pass. God is presented as a God who will punish evil but will protect those who trust in him. The opening passage states, God is jealous, and the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, and is furious, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger, and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. God is strong and will use means, but a mighty God doesn't need anyone else to carry out vengeance and wrath for him. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3 The Lord is slow to anger and quick to love, the Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him importance. God's judgment on Nineveh is, all because of the wanton lust of the harlot, alluring, the mistress of sorceries, who enslaved nations by her prostitution and peoples by her witchcraft. Infidelity, according to the prophets, related to spiritual unfaithfulness. For example, the land is guilty of the vilest adultery in departing from the Lord. The Apostle John used a similar analogy in Revelation chapter 17. Discourse. The book was introduced in Calvin's commentary as a complete and finished poem. No one of the minor prophets seems to equal the sublimity, the vehemence and the boldness of Nahum. Besides, his prophecy is a complete and finished poem, his exordium is magnificent, and indeed majestic, the preparation for the destruction of Nineveh, and the description of its ruin, and its greatness are expressed in most vivid colors, and possess admirable perspicuity and fullness. Rev. John Owen, translator, Calvin's commentary on Jonah, Micah, Nahum Nahum, taking words from Moses himself, have shown in a general way what sort of being God is. The Reformation theologian Calvin argued, Nahum painted God by which his nature must be seen, and, it is from that most memorable vision. When God appeared to Moses after the breaking of the tables, the book could be seen as an allusion to the history as described by Moses, for the minor prophets, in promising God's assistance to his people, must often remind how God in a miraculous manner brought up the Jews from Egypt.